Today's video, we're going to be going over the best settings in Madden 24, at least kind of the standard settings you should be using unless you know something that I don't. Now, when you log into your play call menu or your, your, um, your main menu here, what you want to do is you just want to tab over here to settings. We're going to go over a couple of key things. Now, in my opinion, if we're talking playbooks, uh, the best playbook in the game right now is actually the Chicago Bears NFL Live playbook. The best defensive playbook, in my opinion, is multiple defense because it has dollar as well as some three, four, and five, two stuff that are really, really effective. Skill level, we're going to go all Madden, game style, going to be competitive. Quarterly, not really relevant to what we want to talk about, but a couple of the key settings here. Number one, coin toss first choice, that's going to be kick. Uh, coin toss second choice, that's going to be with the wind. And then uh, for free form, in my opinion, uh, kind of mess around with a little couple different free form settings. Uh, you could either go placement and power on five out of 20, or you could go placement. Actually, um, the beauty of placement and power is that uh, the accuracy is primarily determined by the player ratings, meaning it's harder for you to overthrow uh, the ball. So you're just trying to place the ball wherever you want it to be placed. Now, the free form medical radical max distance near is pretty much the standard and either five, six or seven out of 20 has been kind of the standard settings for the year. As of right now, I'm playing on five out of 20 settings with both of the reticle and meters being visible. For gameplay helpers or some of these uh, settings here, auto flip defensive play call off, you can control that in your main menu and you can also control that in game. Defensive ball hawk, we're gonna go ahead and have that set to on. Heat seeker assist is gonna be set to on. It's gonna help you uh, kind of, I guess it's gonna slow down their ability, not slow down, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier to tackle uh, players that are trying to juke or, or hard cut inside or outside. Um, so Heat Seeker is pretty helpful for that. Defensive switch assist is going to be off and pretty much everything else here is going to be standard. Now, one thing that's really important if you're watching this video and you do play in Ultimate Team is to make sure that you're setting these settings in the Ultimate Team menu. So once you log into your Ultimate Team, if you look at the bottom left hand of your screen, providing I don't have any notifications, we're going to skip all these to the end here. But if you look at the bottom left hand of your screen, what you're gonna notice, hopefully, if this will come up, let's see, we'll hit circle or whatever to try to get this. These menus are so bad in my opinion. But anyways, uh, if you look at the bottom here, you're gonna see that there's a, uh, a thing that says game options. That is how you set your settings. So we're gonna hit that button. I think on PlayStation, it's the options button. And as you can see here, it's gonna bring up your settings. It's also gonna bring up your solo challenge stuff. Again, we just wanna make sure that everything is the same. If you haven't already set these, a lot of times they're not going to be the same as in your standard settings menu. That's why it's really important to uh, do this. Obviously, if you wanna turn off, I think turning off camera toggle is helpful, uh, but that's just my opinion. Again, placement and power near five, six, or seven out of 20, depending on what you wanna do. And then everything else is gonna be set as you can see. Guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, you can get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks by being Patreon members. It's only $10. I break down exactly what I do offensively, defensively, uh, and actually numerous different uh, ebooks. I think we've dropped 15 ebooks so far in the Madden 24 season. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, you can head down to the description and go click the link down below and you can go check out the Patreon page.